So what does it say? 1 by x plus 4 minus 1 by x minus 7 equals to 11 by 30. And the second equation is 1 by y minus 3 plus 1 by y plus 5 equals to 1 by 3. And we need to solve these two equations to compare and establish the relationship between x and y. Okay. So look at the first one, right? 1 by x plus 4 minus 1 by x minus 7 equals to 11 by 30. Now, what do you do? I mean, no choice but to uh, take x plus 4 into x minus 7 as the LCM. So take x plus 4 into x minus 7 as the LCM. Basically, the denominator here will become the quadratic equation, actual quadratic equation. What happens in the numerator? This a multiplied by x minus 7. Yes or no? You, you understand this LCM process, right? So we'll say 1 into x minus 7, which is x minus 7, minus of 1 into x plus 4, which is minus x minus 4. You're getting it? I'm writing it directly. Actually, it is minus of x plus 4, which becomes minus x minus 4. In fact, you should not even write this. You should directly write it as minus 11. You, you should be able to, you know, calculate mentally that x and minus x would get cancelled and we'll be left with minus 7 and minus 4, which makes it minus 11. And this is equal to 11 by 30 on the right hand side. So what happens? Overall, if you see minus 7 minus 4 minus 11 divided by solve this now x plus uh, 4 into x minus 7, right? Multiply the two terms to get the quadratic equation x squared minus 7x plus 4x is minus 3x minus 4 in uh, my, uh, minus 7 into plus 4 minus 28 equals to 11 by 30. So this 11 gets cancelled. What do we have overall? See x squared minus 3x minus 28 into 1. So x squared minus 3x minus 28. This is 30, but when you take it to the other side, it becomes plus 30 is equal to 0. So actually the quadratic equation is x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals 0. x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals to 0. Similarly, you'll have to work on the second equation here to get the right quadratic equation and then solve for x and y. Right? So this, uh, you, when, if you have practiced enough on quadratic equations, you would know that this is x minus 2 into x minus 1, which is equal to 0. Because you know, we want minus 3x, so minus 2x minus x, and we want plus 2, so minus 2 into minus 1 plus 2. I mean, I'm doing reverse engineering here. Whatever we have to do with this equation to arrive at this, I'm explaining you with the direct output, right? I mean, it may sound a little complex, maybe to some of you, but actually very easy. Just by looking at the equation, you would know that the values of x are 2 and 1, right? 2 and 1 would satisfy. x should be equal to 2 or it should be equal to 1. So these are the two values. x is either 2 or 1. Please cut down the number of steps here as well, right? Do not write all the steps and make it lengthy unnecessarily. Do the same thing with the second equation now. 1 by y minus 3 plus 1 by y plus 5 equals to 1 by 3. So what happens? See, the denominator here is y minus 3 to y plus 5, which is equal to y squared plus 2y minus 15, right? Equals to 1 by 3 here. You yes say no, I'm directly multiplying. So that's what I'm saying. Do not take x plus 4 into x minus 7. Directly write x squared minus 3x plus uh, minus 28. Similarly here, y squared uh, plus 2y minus 15. And now look, y plus 5 minus 3. y plus 5 plus y minus 3. So y plus 5 plus y minus 3 will be give you will give you 2y plus 2. You yes say no, 5 minus 3 is 2, y plus y is 2. Again, cross multiply now. So when you cross multiply, what do we get? This 3 into 2 becomes 6y and this becomes 6. So 6y plus 6. Now y squared plus 2y minus 6y is minus 4y. Minus 15 minus 6 is minus 20 equals to 0. Again, these are simple quadratic equations, right? I mean, y squared minus 4y minus 20 equation. You know that can be taken as minus 7 plus 3 and this is minus 7 into plus 3 minus 20. Minus 7 plus 3 is minus 4. Minus 7 into plus 3 is Minus 20. So I can say this is y minus 7 into y plus 3 equals to 0 because minus 7 into plus 3 minus 21 minus 7y plus 3y minus 4y. So what are the values of y? y is either 7 or minus 3. You said no, y minus 7 is 0, so y equals to 7, y plus 3 equals to 0, so y equals to minus 3. So now we know the values, right? x equals to 2 and minus uh, 2 and 1, y is equal to 7 and minus 3. Now compare. How many comparisons would be there? Four comparisons. You have to compare 2 with 7, 2 with minus 3. You have to compare 1 with 7 and 1 with minus 3. Anyway, when you compare 2 with 7, what do you get? x less than y. 
2 is less than 7. When you compare 2 with minus 3, what do you get? x greater than y. x greater than y because 2 is greater than minus 3. Itself, you should not answer cannot be, I mean, the relationship cannot be established. So the answer is option 5.